guys, I'm Ozzy Villa. Welcome to episode 53 of our Harder Middle Lothian save, our bid to take the club to the top of Scottish football. And today it is all about this game, really. We go to Porto hoping to keep our European chances alive. We need to win to get through the group. And if we were to win, we'd actually top the group. But if we do anything other than win and Sampdoria beat Fenerbahce and Sampdoria is at home for this game, they will leapfrog us and uh, qualify from the group. So it's absolutely huge. We're also going to play Glasgow Rangers uh, in the league this episode. But before we get to any of that, let's see what's happened since last episode, starting with our home uh, Edinburgh derby against Hibernian. After a scoreless first half, Brophy popped up in the box to head home the opening goal after Hibs failed to clear a corner. He added a penalty five minutes later before Hartford timed a late run into the box to head home a Mitchell cross on 65 minutes. Brophy completed his hat trick, tapping home in the 68th minute, and Hartford wrapped up the scoring late on with a good finish from a tight angle. So there you go, what a second half performance that was. The first half we were quite average, but second half a Brophy hat trick, Lewis Hartford with a double, more on him in just a second. Um, and yeah, absolutely blew them away in the second half. It was a really, really, really good performance, especially look at that, just that 10, 15 minutes. From the 55th to the 68th minute, we just exploded and they just could not live with us, which was really, really good. After this, we went up to Aberdeen and played them in the league as well. After falling behind, young striker McNeil's powerful header from a corner drew a great save, but Herring couldn't miss. Anthony McDonald's late strike should have won the points for us as he tapped in substitute Kane's cross. But seconds later, a defensive lapse cost us two points. So really, really frustrating this one. A really frustrating draw. Herring and McDonald with the goals, but you can see 87th minute, McDonald put it in front, and then 88th minute, pretty much from the kickoff, Cosgrove drew them level. So it was a really disappointing game. I felt we, the match stats make it look relatively even. I felt like we had more of the highlights, if not necessarily the match stats. Um, so it was a really, really disappointing game, but you can see our keeper played well, so maybe maybe it was a draw was just about fair, but more drop points when we can't afford them, of course, when we're trying to run down Celtic, uh, but after this we went and we hosted High Flying Inverness. McNeil opened the scoring, heading in his first league goal for the club from a Taylor cross. A moment of madness drew Inverness level, before another Greg Taylor cross caused the Inverness defence problems as it found its way into the back of the net via a deflection. So we dominated this game. McNeil got a goal, first league goal for the club. An own goal got us across the line. We literally gifted them a goal, but you can see they only had two shots on target. Uh, we absolutely dominated possession, everything. If we hadn't won this game, it would have been a really, really frustrating thing to have happened. But their goalkeeper was almost the best player on the field. Um, so yeah, in the end, a very well-deserved three points for us there. Let's have a look at what all that means for the league table. And you can see Celtic have dropped points as well. They drew uh, against Dundee United. Um, so that... Brings the gap back to eight points, but it's still a big gap, isn't it? Um, you can, there's a bit, bit, quite the gap off. Eight, nine points, ten points even. Um, back to Inverness and Rangers, albeit they do have a game in hand on us right now. Um, so yeah, that's looking okay for second, let's say. But it's going to be a bit of a task to get to first. Hopefully we'll keep our European hopes alive here. And we did get our Scottish Cup fourth round draw. We're uh, hosting Dundee United in that. Uh, they're, a, they're a premiership club, but they're sort of the bottom half. So you'd like to think we can get through that tie. Um, but there we go. Now, the other news, as I said, it all comes down to Lewis Hartford. If we go and have a look here at Lewis Hartford, you will notice uh, that he is, he's happy. He's happy yet again. Uh, Chelsea's dropped their interest. He's happy to stay. Uh, I looked at offering him a new contract, but he wanted a two million release fee. He's obviously clocked on to the fact that because he doesn't have a release fee right now, um, we don't have to sell him. So, yeah, that's that was something he wanted to add on. So we don't. We, he's got four years left. We're in no hurry to offer him a new contract. He's here for the foreseeable future. Um, but yeah, Lewis Hartford is happy again, and that is good news for us. So let's go and uh, turn our attention to this game. We are not the favourites, as you would probably expect. Uh, scouting report: Victor Pereira is their manager. They're a balanced, standard playing style. Uh, analysis reporting: They're actually expecting them, according to our scouts, to be a little bit deeper. So sort of Oliver will sit back in midfield tr proper, and these two will be more of a shield. Uh, a little bit deeper. Um, positional heat map, you can see they defend narrow, but it looks as though they do like to get uh, down the sides of teams. Uh, there's their passing network and key passes. And let's have a look at the team that we're sending out. Um, and we're going for this. We're going for this because we have to win. A draw or a loss doesn't really mean anything if Sampdoria win. We have, we have to win. 
Um, and if Sampdoria drop points and we lose, it doesn't really matter. So Teddy Smith goes in goal. It's Taylor, it's O'Connor, Coping and Johnson as the back four. Turnbull and Cochrane go in midfield. Actually, we probably want to switch those two around, though, don't we? Uh, it's Curtis Jones. Now, he's back fit, not necessarily match sharp, but we are going to give him a start because he has been a really good player for us. Uh, Hartford and Clare make up the rest of the attacking trio. In behind Brophy, if we can get a, another hat-trick from him like we did in the Edinburgh Derby, uh, I'll be a very happy manager. So there we go. The scouts did get this right. They are sitting a little bit deeper in their midfield, uh, which is why we went with the number 10. Um, we're sort of departing from uh, what we had been doing in Europe. Johnson said there's no real pressure. I almost I almost think that's that's the way to go here. Um, yeah, there's no one expects us to get a result. Just go out there and enjoy the game. Play without pressure. We've got some calm faith here. I mean, we really do have nothing to lose. I mean, you saw the group. I don't know if we really expected to get out of the group, the position that we were in, um, only needing a draw against Sampdoria at home, having drawn them away, I do, I, I'll be disappointed if we don't get out of this, but, yeah, we'll just, just see how it is, it's, I, I mean, ideally, Fenerbahce will do us a favour, won't they, and then it won't matter what happens here, they only need to take a point from them, um, they did draw them at Fenerbahce, but this game is at Sampdoria, so that's obviously a bit more difficult for them, uh, and we look better. If you remember back to when we played uh, Porto at home, we were 3-1 down and we brought uh, Hartford on. We went with the number 10 and we looked a lot better. So I'm hoping, starting like that, that, you know, maybe it'll it'll pay off again. Um, I mean, the, 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 the gut-wrenching thing here is that where Sam Dory's taking the lead is that we have to win. We have to win. Oh, that's off the post. Uh, a draw if Sam Doria win, which they are currently doing, is not good enough for us. What to do here from the corner... Oh, it's just over the bar again. Come on, boys. Come on. I mean, if we were to get a draw, imagine if we go to Porto and get a draw, that's an amazing result. It's a stunning result for us at this stage and sort of where we're, where we're at. And it wouldn't be good enough. Um, that's, it's been, that's been a good first half. Fenerbahce. It's only 1-0. There's still a chance. Come on, Fenerbahce. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, is it good enough? Is it good enough? What do we say to this? Um, it's time for everyone to dig deep. Dig deep, boys. Dig deep. Portio Corner's on a booking. Let's just tell him to watch his step. Um, that does worry me a little bit because Portio Corner is a bit of a brutal defender. So there's always a risk that <laughs> he could get a little bit carried away. But we'll trust him. We do have, I think, is it Herring on the bench? No, we have Michael Smith on the bench. That's right, because I wanted an extra man in midfield. Um, I wanted that extra man in midfield basically as Smalley. So if we could find ourselves in a position where we want to protect the lead, we had the option to do that. Um, and small, Yeah, so that's why we've done that. Um, all right, I think that's fine. I think it's fine. We've just got to get back out there. Um we need to just need defend well, and then we just need a little bit of magic from somebody, don't we? Defend well, please, boys. Defend well. Defend well. Away. Oh, it's not quite clear, though. Jones, come on, get in front of it. Oh, but it's fine. Everybody breathe. It's fine. Uh, let's demand more. Brophy's not having a good day up front, is he? Neither is Claire. Hartford, here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh he's off. He's off. Okay. Okay. All right, now now there's a chance here. Now there is a chance. Um, what do we have? They're bringing on, they're bringing on our Maida. How have they changed things? They have... How have they changed things? They haven't really, have they? They've just got no one down their right wing. Um, all right, what we don't want to do, I don't think, is go silly here and attack. We might just want to look to just play with a little bit more wit. Um, try and sort of draw them across. I wonder with an extra man, we can probably afford to counter-press too, can't we? Try and win this ball back. So let's do that. Let's do that. I'm looking at Brophy and I'm just thinking, but McNeil is McNeil the man though? He's, he's only just scored his first league goal for the club. Um, all right, let's go attacking. Let's let's try. Brophy has been doing well as a poacher. Let's try him as a poacher. Let's bring Glover on for Claire because Claire's just not working today. And then if that if we don't see any sort of improvement. From Brophy will bring McNeil on away, boys. Oh, what? oh, we're up against ten men, and now we need two goals. Um, let's take it off. Work the ball into the box. 
We should probably take... Actually, no, we'll keep that. We'll take it off Exploit the Flank, so we'll raise the tempo a little bit. Of all things, it's a corner. It's a Turnbull missed header that's cost us. And do we want to see this again? Oh, it's just hit him on the head. I don't know if that's Turnbull's fault necessarily, to be honest. Um, all right, we need... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Bit of quality here, please, Cochrane. A little bit of quality. It's decent. It's Porty O'Connor. There's no power on the header, though. There's absolutely no power in that. Uh, I want... Do we go two up top? Do we be drastic? No, we don't. I don't think we have the players to do that because I've just fought Glover on. Um, all right, so let's try McNeil. Let's try him as a pressing forward. I do wonder how much of a difference having Uche or Ines Cameron would have made. I've got a cat here up my nose again. Um... Yeah, I mean, we haven't had much luck with injuries because the last two games we've looked really toothless, and we looked we looked like we had a goal in us, you know, in the first four games of the group stage. With those two gone, I mean, we we haven't we have, we have we had a highlight. We barely had a highlight against Sampdoria, and went oh, Brophy with a lunging. <laughs> it's a good tackle in the end. Here he goes. Come on, Brophy. Come on, mate. It's not quite there. Here goes Glover. Look at them. We've got men over. We've got a man over. It's down. There's routing around. And Lewis Hartley's offside. The well, linesman's flagged up. No, he's going back towards the... Almost swore there. He's going back towards the centre circle. It's Lewis Hartford. And it is 1-1. And we are one goal away against 10 men. Let's maybe cancel that sub. Let's, uh, let's give Brophy maybe just a little bit more time. Maybe it's it bounced around. We've got a little, I'd say a little bit like we've got a lot of luck there. That could have been anything, but it's found its way into the back of the net. Oh, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. It's away. Get in front of it. Get in front of it. Oh, Teddy Smith made a good save and Brophy's cleared it behind for a corner. That's fine. Come on, boys. Show some passion here. Have we seen the score come through from the other games? It's still 1 0. Can Fenerbahce nick something for us? There we go. Cochran, he's headed it on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's Glover. It's Glover. Go on, Glover. Oh, he can't quite beat his man. He can't quite beat his man. All right, we are going to make that sub now for Brophy because he hasn't actually improved. Uh, we'll put on the pressing forward. Um, Porty O'Connor's looking nervous and on a booking. I don't want to. I don't want Michael Smith as a centre back. I probably shouldn't have put him on the bench as a centre back cover if that's not if I didn't want to do that. Show some passion here, boys. Here we go. It's Harry Cochran. It's Harry Cochran. Oh, I don't think it was as close as it looked at first. To be honest. We need to go for this. All out attack. What else can we do? What else can we do here? Um, it doesn't really matter if if uh, if you know if we were to lose this game because, as I said, if if uh, if uh, Sampdoria win, we have to win. If they don't win, it doesn't matter what we do because they can't catch us anyway. Uh, so let's go. Let's go high up the pitch. Let's get stuck in. Um, everything else there is good. Let's do. We be more direct. I don't like playing more direct. I wonder if we do try being more direct. And then if we play McNeil, who's a decent target man. Um, yeah, maybe we try that. It's not the way we play, but... And if we are doing that, we probably don't... Oh, we do have hit early crosses on, never mind. Come on, boys, come on. Oh, we're not. We're gonna. It's gonna be a glorious defeat, isn't it? We've come to Porto. We've got a draw, and it's not enough. Again, we've been we've been the equals of our of our of our opponent there. Um, you've you've proved a lot of people wrong avoiding defeat, but unless, yeah, it didn't happen. I was gonna say unless there was a, a defeat for or, or drop points for Sampdoria, how did it end up? Was it one nil? Uh, it did end up 1-0 as well. Oh, that's really disappointing. It, it, we've got the better goal difference. We've gone down head-to-head. -head. It's that def last defeat, uh, the only defeat in the group stage, to Sampdoria at home. That's what's that knocked us out. That's the only result that's knocked us out. Otherwise, we've been really good in that group. And that is just, it's just soul-destroying, isn't it? It's just soul-destroying. Anyway, guys, wait right there. We'll be back. We've got Rangers in the league. Um... Let's try and get some revenge on them. Okay, welcome back. We'll try and get through this game, even though I just feel like sitting in the corner and crying for the next hour and a half. But let's see here. We're not the favourites, even though we are hosting. Uh, you can see Rangers, they're still having a bit of a struggle this year. They have definitely come up uh, the table in recent uh, recent times. But 10 points behind us. A draw here is almost not a bad result, given that I don't know if Celtic's catchable. 
uh, which is depressing to say, isn't it? Because that kind of means our season's done just the cup. But anyway, uh, Philip Koku is the manager. They're a balanced mentality, direct playing style. Analysis report, you can see the way we're expecting them to line up here. Of course, our old boy, Egertsen, uh, starting up front from now, which is good. Don't forget we have that 50% sell-on fee, so hopefully he'll make a nice big Premier League move at some point. Um, so we're expecting them to play passing network there and also the key passes, as you can see, more direct uh, of the key passes. This is the team we're sending out. We're going with essentially the same sort of team in uh, sort of the, what we, I guess, our traditional uh, European lineup for this year. So Teddy Smith in goal. Mitchell comes in with O'Connor, Coping, and Johnson. Smalley into the anchor man role with Cochrane and Turnbull. McDonald comes in to play down the right. Glover on the left. And it is Brophy continuing up top. So we're matching up man for man. And it's not, it's Middleton. Oh, our old boy, I forgot about Middleton. Uh, Oh, he was so good for us, wasn't he? It's Egertsen on the bench. He's not on the bench. So, obviously, he's he's scared of us. Scared of us. Um, all right, what do we say to this? Go out there, prove a point. Um, I think maybe just go out there and impress me. Just impress me today, boys. Let's shake off the European... Let's, well, let's not have a European hangover. Let's not have one to shake off. Yeah, I'd like to think... Well, yeah, Like I say, if we can get a draw here... At, at, as a, at a minimum, it's not it's not the worst. Protect second place. Well, I want to try and keep some pressure on Celtic if we can. Um, you know, we've still got to play them twice. So if we can keep it as close to six points as possible, uh, then you never know what might happen. It looks like they're quite tired. They were they would have been playing Europa League football as well. So they have not come up as well as we did. Um, it's all our fitness work we do, isn't it? Here we go. Brophy for Cochrane. For Turnbull. Turnbull, nice little flick there for Glover. Can Glover do something here? Glover, oh, I tell you what, he hit that, didn't he? But just wide, it looked like. Unlucky, that would have been a wonder goal if it could have found the back of the net. But uh, we're not doing too bad here, but possession is not looking good, is it? Um, here we go again. Smalley knocks one in. It's, oh, it's headed away, is it? Or was it punched? It's there for Smalley for McDonald. Oh, McDonald, he can score from anywhere. We've seen that in past seasons, and just again, we've lashed one over the top. Um, we'll give it one more get creative here, and then we'll see. They haven't really threatened us as of yet, but they have had a lot more of the ball, which is a problem. Here we go. Is this going to be a Rangers highlight? Put some pressure on. They've gone long. It's easy for O'Connor. I'm not quite sure where Mitchell was going there. He was definitely <laughs> he was taking off towards goal, and I'm not sure that's what was needed. Oh, there's no one at the back post, and Glenn Middleton has come back to haunt us. How many times did he see him do that for us? And he's come back and done it against us now. Um, yeah, I don't know. Was it Mitchell that was taking off? It was. I don't know where he was going. I don't know where he was going. He sort of gave O'Connor nowhere to head the ball. And then, I mean, we've seen Middleton do that enough times. We don't need to see it again. And let's demand a little bit more now. Come on, boys. Johnson on a booking is an ideal. We've not looked good, have we? We've not looked good here. Um... What to do, what to do, what to do. Match readings aren't great. Let's go, let's, be, let's do an aggressive, show me something different. Darnell Johnson will tell him not to get himself sent off. Uh, the two boys in midfield probably need to do a little bit better here. Um, everything else there, I mean, it, it looks as the team talk looks like it's worked well. We do have the option of Henderson on the bench for Glover if he's not going to play well down the left. We really struggled to find a consistent player down the left side this season. Coping's done well there. In for Cochrane. For Turnbull. What's he got for us? Smalley to Cochrane. Back for O'Connor. O'Connor's not the best passing the ball. Don't get caught in possession. That's fine. Just get rid. Teddy Smith out to Coping. This is the centre back we want with the ball. Turnbull. This has so far been a nice little spell of possession. Can we find something at the end of it? Turnbull goes wide there for Dimitri Mitchell. Can he find one of his Paddington crosses? He's gone for Glover. Glover turns in field. Oh, it's a good ball for Brophy. Oh, he's offside. It's a... It was a stunning pass by Glover, and I don't... We didn't really get to see a replay there at all, did we? All right, corner to defend here. Away, please, boys. Darnell Johnson's there. Stay on your feet, mate. Stay on your feet. Just hustle. Come on, boys. Come on. Oh, they've, we've let them in again. It's Middleton again. It's not been a couple of episodes to remember, has it? European heartbreak, and then it looks like Glasgow defeat as well. Well, tell him, I think I hit demand more before this started. We just... Defensive shape wasn't wasn't great there, was it? Uh, all right, we need to make changes. Uh, Henderson for Glover. McDonald's not playing well, so let's bring Hartford on. For, no, we can't... We, you know what we need to We need to go with a number 10, don't we? Um, Curtis Jones on for McDonald. 
Um, and then let's bring Hartford on for Smalley. I think. Let's maybe wait on that one. I'm just wondering if Smalley didn't play last game. Maybe we need to... Uh, we need to go. Well, hang on. We need to go to the number ten because this isn't clearly working. Um, let's do Hartford maybe for Cochrane. Uh, we'll keep Smalley on the pitch. Can he play as a deep lying playmaker? I don't know if he's. I tell you what. I think I'd rather. Uh, I'd rather Turnbull do it. There we go. Uh, it's just all going wrong here. It's all going wrong. Uh, we have faith in Hartford to go out there and make a difference. Uh, and the one thing I did want to fix up there is advanced playmaker. We'll keep both of in advance forward. Let's see how that goes. You just want... I would love to know how close that offside was from that Glover pass. Because it was a stunning pass. And if that had gone in at 1-1, it's a different game, isn't it? Let's take it off exploit the flanks. Let's work the ball into the box. Is there anything in this game for us? Come on, boys. Get creative. Middleton again. I mean, we know you're good, mate. You don't need to show us. Come on. Teddy Smith. What a save that is. Um, I'm wondering now with the number 10 if we just need to pull back the lines here a little bit. Let's get stuck in as well. If you're going to gonna go, go down swinging or kicking, as, that, <laughs> as the case may be here. Middleton with the corner in. It's easy for Teddy Smith. They've changed their approach to more attacking, so I don't, this is this could this could open right up here. Um, we're looking inspired to a point. Get creative, come on, boys! Can we get a goal at least? Give us something. It's not happening, is it? Well, it's not. It's not been. It's not been great, has it? We did, did so well against Porto. Um, but that was really, we didn't, I don't even think we got a highlight barely, did we? A couple of long range shots, that was about it. Um, yeah. Says they strike lucky. I mean, I don't know that it was, it was that lucky. Um, Brophy close to triggering a cause one game away. I mean, we don't have much choice. We have to play him right now because we don't have any other strikers available to us. But that's, that hurts. That, that's, I mean, that's probably now Celtic gone, isn't it? And realistically, um, Rangers close to within seven with a game in hand, potentially, what's that, potentially four points. So it is still fight on for second place. That has been another disappointing episode, guys, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, that is it for today. If you have enjoyed that for whatever reason, please do hit thumbs up. I just wanted to quickly say that there won't be an episode tomorrow. I've got to do an airport pickup and I'm, it's, I don't want to rush an episode out. So there won't be an episode tomorrow, but we'll be back on, uh, what's that be, Thursday. And we'll come back for the festive fixtures. We'll have a have a think about what we, you think we need to do in the transfer window here. Um, we've got a bit of a nasty run coming up of away games here. But it's against teams that we should be able to beat in any case. But we'll come back for Pardick Thistle and Motherwell over the festive fixtures. Uh, that's all for next time, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I've been Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.